Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at this Siberia OS 2.2 running on Android 9.0 for a Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, starting with the home screen, we get this Siberia wallpaper. You can see like mountains and it's minimalistic. Then we have this Google Now support on the left side, and you can see these are the apps present. And let's check the launcher settings also or some customization stuff. So we have here the home screen at first and you can see Google app, so search bar, theme style, number of dark icons and a lot of stuff. Also a grid layout you can check. Then we have the icons and you can add icon to home screen if you want. Then icon pack support and also four shape mask on UC icons. Then we have this app drawer you can see you can also hide apps and you can also set the number of apps, the default type of apps. For the dock, dock icons like seven if you want if you want to access more apps on the home screen then we have gestures and we also have this clear all from recent view gestures which is this like you have to open multiple apps and then you will get how it works okay, let's move into the system check the about phone info so into the about phone you can see here android version 9 and siberia version 2.2 which is the latest update to the siberia source and then we have this january 5 like the latest security patch and also you can see it has the kernel version 3.8.1.31 then also the cellular status is enforcing and you will also get the change log to take a look at the latest changes in the source. In the settings you can see the Siberia settings it has a lot of options you can see system panels lock screen battery saving so let's move into system and you can see we get these tweaks so general tweaks animation button privacy guard standby app sound settings and dialer so let's take a small look like a quick look at these options you can see we get a lot of options here inside so buttons and all this shit you can see we also have privacy guard so this should not be uh, like from all view and then we have sound settings and we also have this dialer option so vibrate on connect and vibrate on in call like in call vibration options are there then let's move into panels and you can see we get the status bar, navigation bar and stuff. You can like customize these options. The navigation bar, notification. Then we also have this battery settings so like your battery light and lock screen stuff you can see. You can change it and you have the info about the Siberia team and you can see you can check the Siberia team maintainers and all the stuff here also guys we get the Google camera as the default camera so you need to allow permissions and you can see everything works fine like the camera works fine let's take a picture and you can see uh, it takes a picture well also video recording works well so you can see you can shoot it here also let's check the front camera if it works well so yeah the front camera works well okay this is the recording and this is the picture let's take a picture okay i'm bad at taking pictures but still it takes good pictures so yeah it's a good picture of mine so guys uh, that's it for this uh, review uh, and yeah i've shown all of the features now let's check the and to do benchmark of this so i will just like like make it done and i will show you the result so let's because i'm back after the end of the benchmark test and this is the score i've got it's 78459 it's about to touch 80,000, but no 78459 and you can see the cpu scored 37 uh, about 38,000. the gpu about 13,000. the ux score is 22 like about 22,000, and this memory score is about 6,000. so yeah i don't i haven't checked like for all roms but from now i'll be checking for all roms and the benchmark and so you guys can compare and like check if this rom is good or not or about the performance it like many people like believe on the anti benchmark so that's okay so also i uh, forgot to take pubg test so let's check uh, pubg performance on this rom and yeah it's like redmi 5 plus uh, rom is gone not gonna change your device it's redmi 5 plus so it's redmi 5 plus only uh, let's check the gaming performance how is it okay so you can see the app opening takes a lot of time here i don't know why but only on this device and mine is a 3g ram variant so you can check on your 4gb run so guys as you can see uh, this is how the pubg performance is uh, okay okay just don't kill me so it's okay -ish. 
like in some uh, some games uh, feel it's better okay so this guy was like just slept here so okay the responsiveness of the buttons is okay it is facing some lags here and there as you can observe see that lag and it's not on any server i have played a lot of games on this like three four uh, rounds of pubg but still i'm having this issue i don't know why uh, maybe you guys can uh, actually play using gfx tool if you are playing but no normally you can see the oops the performance is not that well oh shit oh shit both are going for the same time ha <laughs> okay and that so guys actually the performance is not that good uh, whatever i was expecting on low settings and i was playing on low settings not medium or by that but but yeah it's it's actually okay and yeah you cannot expect far from a 3g ram and 625 in 2019 but yeah it was like going through well but you can figure it out on your own if you're using gfx tool or if you are not using it then let me my face this issue so yeah it's not that good for gaming but yeah if you are just not for some rank or something playing just for time pass then yeah you can good to go for gaming guys that's it for the overall uh, usage battery performance and all gaming review of this uh, Siberia OS for the Redmi 5 plus or the Redmi Note 5 wins and i hope you guys have liked this video and if you guys have liked this video then just press the like button if not press the dislike button also subscribe here's the red button for more videos and also if you want like more videos on the redmi 5 plus just comment down whatever review you want earlier or earlier if i have not done or any other apps or mods which i have not covered on this channel you can just like email me or email message me on telegram or comment down below uh, and yeah that's it guys bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye